One thing I wanted to do with the overall creative look of Sideways is try to bridge the gap between the gritty New York streets and the fun playfulness we come to expect from a great platformer. So my job was to make this feel as though the graffiti and grittiness was there to support the gameplay, not necessarily take away from it. This meant getting away from the super realistic textures and lighting that you'd expect and going more for a wonky artistic representation of the city. I think by doing this we allowed ourselves to have a little more artistic license and freedom, but still not offend the true graffiti diehards out there. I tried to pull as much reference as I could, everything from street artists to vinyl toys and old school platformers to new school pop art. It was important to me that this game had a unique artistic touch to it, but also paid homage to the, the classic 80s platformer. When it came to the environment itself, I really wanted to maintain the unique artistic look by playing with lots of angles and the over-exaggeration of some of the buildings, especially in the later levels. A really cool feature that lent itself great to the story was having the city become more warped and twisted as the day progressed in the night, and that gave us a lot of opportunities to get away from the normal architecture of the city and have it transform into an uber wonky and twisted heap of billboards. Overall, I think the game achieved exactly what we set out to do. The animations and the characters have a definite 2D painted on look and feel, which makes an amazing contrast to the 3D city. The environments still look and feel like New York City, but don't take themselves too seriously. And the pickups and icons throughout the game have a great throwback to the 80s platformer, which I think is one of the coolest parts of the game.